Hi everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video. And in today's video I'm going to make more masterboards. Um, in my previous video I showed this big uh, collages that I made using uh, the masterboards that I made a few years ago or like a year ago and I really enjoyed the process of making this and a bit later I want to scan them and make a digital kit out of them and then also put on the walls but I decided that I definitely need more masterboards maybe also for making a few more big collages and also for using in my junk journals and also one of my viewers uh, Cindy, hi Cindy if you are watching this, uh, suggested to uh, make a digital kit with uh, backgrounds for collages and uh, I think it's a really good idea because uh, I already have this one like this with this masterboards that I used in previous video and that I showed. So I have all this uh, scanned and I also use them in my journals for making collages. Uh, but the thing is with this that I noticed already earlier and also last week when I was making my collages that sometimes it can be a bit challenging to use this because here as you can see that's the original masterboard that's how it looked now it's it look looks like this it's this collage uh, i have here already quite a few different images with birds and animals and plants and yeah as you can see all of them already have um, many different details and it can be good and bad in the same time uh, I think it's really good if you want to make something quickly and maybe use some part of this. Then you already basically have everything ready. You can just cut out some part, like for example, something like this and make a journaling card out of this part. Just maybe add a few small things around, a few small details. I don't know, some stamps or tickets or something like that. And then it's ready or also some smaller collage and use some parts of, of this. And then I think it's really convenient and uh, good. Uh, but I think sometimes also would be good to have just some simple, play, more or less plain background without any uh, images. Uh, because for me personally, it's always sad to cover some images like this with something else and when I was making this uh, big collages it was a bit challenging because I always try to try to uh, keep these images that I already have and not to cover them because I think they're really beautiful and it would be sad just to cover that with something else. So in that case it was a bit challenging and I always had to see like what to put where that also those illustrations and all those image, images that I already have that they look good together. So I think in that case um, this kind of background can be a bit challenging and maybe not really good for every kind of collage that you want to make because I have, um, I have on this um, masterboards mostly images with animals and birds and it's really great for making some nature collages but if you want something else then it's like yeah maybe it's not the best option uh, so i decided that i will make more of this masterboards but with uh, simpler background without any images like this without birds or animals or anything but mostly just using some uh, vintage papers some tickets book pages uh, different uh, different vintage papers that look nice together um, and I want to make a few uh, really simple backgrounds for any kind of collages and also something that I can print out then and use as a journal pages maybe even to make journals and use that as a ready journal page like kind of ready for 
collaging and also print and use some parts for different collages and maybe I will make then also a few more big collages like this. So Cindy, thank you very much for your suggestion. I think it's a really good idea and uh, today I'm going to make a few more masterboards, uh, different collaged backgrounds, but uh, something kind of kind of simple, something that will be good for any kind of collage. So I have here eight pieces of cardboard. All of these are Amazon packaging. I just cut out these pieces from those bigger Amazon envelopes. I think it's a good way to recycle that kind of packaging. These are really thick. It's like a really thick cardboard, so for example this will be then uh, good if you want to make a big collage and uh, put it on the wall. It will be really stable. There are also few thinner ones like this. Also Amazon packaging, but that's some other kind of envelope and this one is uh, a bit thinner and I think this will be really nice to use if you want to make a master board and then uh, cut it in pieces and make some journaling cards or tags for your junk journal or something like this because uh, this is not not too thick and won't make your journal too bulky. Uh, I'm going to use mostly, as I said, book pages and different vintage papers for my backgrounds. So I chose a few different papers that I have, something like this, with this nice, nice writing. I think it's French, maybe, I'm not sure. Also some papers like this. Book pages in different languages from different books. Uh, also some old letters, that's, that's in Russian, actually. Um, also something like this, with some tiny, tiny images, maybe something like this I, I can use. That's from some Ukrainian newspaper or magazine. Also some papers like this. So a few beautiful papers with stamps. Uh, then I have here some book pages, leftovers from different projects. I think those are really good to use for making master boards like this. Smaller pieces if you have some gaps somewhere, so something like this. Then I also have a box with uh, different vintage stamps and tickets. Here I have just a few also some labels. I have just a few here, but uh, I have more, so I always can take more if I need more. And also a few paper scraps like this, like from some paper pads, leftovers. I don't know I, if I will use some of this or not. Maybe, maybe something like, like this map or also maybe something like this. And now I'm going to start and I think I, I will show you a process of making of one or maybe two master boards and then the rest I will make off camera because it will be exactly the same. I will use uh, very similar papers, just will combine them differently, like different colors maybe. So then in the end I will show you the result all uh, when all are ready. I will turn this around and will use this side. I, I want to cover this side where some labels were and also something like this. I, this will be completely covered. So I think I will start from maybe some of these smaller pieces because I want to use them as much as possible and some of them are not that small actually. So I'm going to use some of this.
So my first background is ready mostly and now I want to add a few small details to make it look a bit more interesting and now I will try to do my best and not to add too many things. So I think now I just will add a few, maybe a few labels, few, few tickets maybe, something like this. Maybe a few more paper scraps. Okay, I think my first background is ready. I will leave it like this. I think that now it's enough. There is still plenty of space to add some things uh, later, but there are also already some details like stamps and tickets. And I think this, this background you basically can use for any kind of collage, like some nature collage or travel collage. I tried to make it like uh, in a way that, that it also would be possible to cut out some smaller pieces like this for example here and add a few tiny details and make a quickly make a tag for example or journaling card or something like this or like this. I think I will scan this now and we'll show you an example maybe maybe we'll make a quick small collage quickly using this so i quickly scanned this and printed on the regular copy paper and decided that i want to try it out already so let's try it out and make some small quick collage and i took my pocket junk journal i think i just will choose some random page here maybe this one this plain white play page and we'll try to make a quick collage using this new background i think i just will use a piece of of this so something like this i think basically just some part of this background okay that's a bit too big <laughs> i think i need a bit smaller piece something like this you of course can cut it out and just glue it down to your page that it covers your page completely and then there won't be those white borders but for me it's okay like this. I think I just will glue it down like this. Okay, and like this I already have a background for my collage and some small details and now I just have to add a few more things. Let's see, I think I want to add some stickers maybe really like this raccoon sticker and i think it will look nice here okay i want to use this raccoon here so i think i will cut cut him out cut around him because i don't like this big white border okay maybe i will use another ticket or one more of these labels like this i found a few of the of this big dragonfly stickers so i will add a few of these So 
my collage is ready and I really like this background. I like how how fast I can make them something with, with this background. I think it took me like, I don't know, less than five minutes to make this collage, just to add a few few small things and it's ready. And of course you also can use this for bigger collages, like some bigger parts of this. So I will make a few more of this. I think I just will try to combine uh, more different colors that there is some variety to choose from. And then I will show you the end result because the process is exactly the same, just to combine different pieces. So I won't film how I make every single one. I will do that exactly the same. Okay, I finally finished to make all my master boards. It takes a while if you are making uh, many at once, like one takes maybe 20 minutes or so, or maybe maybe half an hour if you are very picky about your uh, papers and details. But so it's kind of fast, but uh, if you make many at once, like I did, so takes a while, but I finished to make them and now I will show you how they turned out. That was the first one. Here, uh, here I used some cute stamps with owls. We really like them, very cute. Uh, most of them turned out to be quite simple as I planned, so you can use them for different kind of collages, but I also added some nice details, like some stamps. I really like this stamp and this one is also beautiful. So I think that uh, this background really can be used for any kind of collage. This one is more travel, travel themed background, I think. There are some like this, which basically really can be used for any kind of collage. This one is a typical forest themed background, but I really like it. And I think some pieces also can be used for um, any kind of collages, like for example, in this part here. And if you want a, and if you want a forest collage, there is already some things that that you have here also cute owl stamps and then you can add a few more details and have a nice forest nature collage and this last one is a mixture of everything <laughs> i would say so so i'm very happy how they turned out i think i will start to use them for make, making collages, I will scan them first and make a digital kit out of them. So when you are watching this video, it will be uh, this digital kit already will be in my Etsy shop. So you will find a link in the description box in case if you are interested and also need some backgrounds for uh, collages. I'm not sure yet what I will do with this original pieces. Maybe I will make a few more of those big collages. And I think some of them I definitely will cut and will make some smaller ephemera for my journals, maybe some text and journaling cards. Maybe I will do that in one of the next videos and will show you how I use this. But uh, yeah, with this collaged backgrounds, uh, master boards, there are really so many possibilities, so many things that you can do. So if you never try to make them, I can highly recommend it, uh, at least to try and make one. It's really fun. Process is really fun. It's like uh, puzzling a bit, uh, trying to fit different pieces that they look nice together. And it's and it's a very good way to use your paper scraps. Um, and then also there are so many possibilities what you can do with, with ready masterboard. 
that was all for today thank you so much for watching i hope this video was inspiring for you and see you in my next videos bye